Good evening and thank you for joining this week's Corner. Happy to have you talk some sports and take a break from some of that election coverage. Now, while many people are concerned about who will be elected as our next president of the United States, other people in the sports world are thinking about the poll workers who are diligently counting ballots. Members of the Pittsburgh Steelers organization are helping to fuel those tallying votes in Pennsylvania. According to Nexstar, members of the NFL franchise sent dinner to Allegheny election workers on Wednesday. The county sent out this tweet right up here on your screen, thanking the franchise, stating the delicious menu too, rigatoni pasta, chicken, and pie. The Steelers are the only undefeated team remaining in the NFL, and their home state, Pennsylvania, continues to count votes as people eagerly await the final results of this critical swing state. Speaking of football, it was announced today that the East Carolina Marshall game is canceled this year. This news came Thursday afternoon during an East Carolina Board of Trustees meeting. Athletic Director John Gilbert confirmed the information. The game was originally scheduled to take place during week zero of the season on August 29th, a day that was meant to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Marshall plane crash. It was postponed due to COVID-19 concerns. Now, the matchup was planned to be played later in the season. However, Thursday's announcement crossed it completely off the 2020 schedule. Athletic Director John Gilbert mentioned in the board meeting the possibility of East Carolina adding an 11th game on December 5th. That is, if all goes as planned and no other pirate football games are canceled. ECU football returns home this weekend inside Dowdy Ficklin Stadium to play Tulane. Now switching gears a bit, ECU Hoops is just around the corner. The guys are lacing up and getting ready to hit the court on November 25th. The guys will head to Fort Myers, Florida for the Gulf Coast Showcase later this month. They will open up their play against Indiana State. As for the rest of the 2020-2021 season, ECU will host four games inside Williams Arena at Minji's Coliseum as part of its seven-game non-conference schedule. The three Gulf Coast Showcase games will round out the rest of the non-conference matchups. As for the ECU home schedule, here it is up on your screen. The guys will host Radford on December 5th, UNC Wilmington on December 7th, North Florida on December 10th, and the JMU Dukes on December 19th. Now, the American Conference schedule has not yet been released. However, play is expected to begin sometime mid to late December. One of the Pirates' very own is racking up the preseason awards. Junior forward Jaden Gardner is on the watch list for the Julius Irving Award. The award is honored to the nation's top small forward. Gardner was previously honored last month on the first team all-conference for the American, voted on by head coaches. He's the league's top returning scorer and rebounder. Definitely going to be a threat to keep your eye on all season. Turning now to high school sports, this is a big week for volleyball and cross country as practices began on Wednesday. Sports reporter Nolan Knight caught up with some local coaches on their return. It's been over eight months since NCHS AA high schools across North Carolina competed in athletics. And after months of quarantine, online classes, summer workouts and waiting, competition has finally returned to schools in eastern North Carolina. Uh, our coaching staff out and our athletes at Conley as, as well as everywhere in North Carolina are very excited, very eager to get back. It's been a long summer and a long fall off season. Everybody's been working as if we were going to play and it's very refreshing to finally, you know, be officially opening up with volleyball tryouts and cross country as well. Wednesday marked the start of the high school volleyball and cross country seasons as schools across the East began tryouts for their first COVID-19 pandemic season, an obstacle that has had its ups and downs. A lot of the kids now, especially the seniors, are more driven than they were before we were going to start because, like I said, we took it for granted last year that we were going to have another season and then we might not, we might have lost it. So the fact that we're able to come back, I think that's the difference now. The season will officially begin for high school volleyball on November 16th. And as the winter rolls on, more high school sports will slowly start to get back to action. Sports are all over the place this year. And, and I think in a nutshell, you just hit it. There's going to be a lot of starting and stopping due to the virus itself. There's still a long way to go for high school sports to look normal again. But at least tryouts, sorry, start. In Pitt County, I'm Nolan Knight. Now to your side, sports. Thanks, Nolan. And just in case you haven't heard, we've rolled out an additional way for you to listen to sports news through our podcast series on WNCT. The sports team and I meet every Wednesday to chat about the latest topics on our WNCT Nine on Your Side sports talk. 
We're seven episodes in, so if you haven't taken a listen, be sure to do so. This week, we sat down to chat about the controversial game calling Friday during the ECU Tulsa matchup. And to break it down, a local high school and college official joined the conversation. Episodes can be found on our website, WNCT.com, Apple Music, Spotify, and other podcast-friendly sites. All right, that will do it for this week's Corner You Know the Deal. See you same time, same place next week. Thanks for watching.